So there's nothing to skip. There's nothing we can skip, right? One of our teachers, Sheikh Muhammad Darwish, he mentioned to us, he said sometimes students, they go to teachers and they say, we want to study this particular book, but we want to skip the whole time and start from here. He said, this is bad adab. He said, this is a bad mannerism with the author of the book and the teaching you've come to. Why? Because if that khutbah was useless, then the author wouldn't have wrote it. If it was useless, then the author wouldn't have wrote that khutbah. And one of my friends, Sheikh Mahmoud from Austria, he said to me in, in, in 1999 in Damascus, he said, I can recognize the content and the author of a book by reading the first three lines of the khutbah. The first three or four lines of the khutbah, by reading the first three or four lines of the khutbah, I can realize the content of the book and the state of the author. And then he gave me an example. He opened up a book and he said, look at this book. And he read it through maybe about three or four or five at the maximum lines of the khutbah and he closed it. And he said, now look at the titles which come before this author's name. Right? He said there's a line of titles before this author's name, but before and after the Prophet Sallallahu blessed name, there is nothing. He said this indicates to me, this indicates to me where he stands and where the Prophet Sallallahu uh, how he deems the Prophet Sallallahu Just by reading the first few lines, he said I, I can recognize the, the author of the book and the book the, uh, the content of the book itself. Is that clear? So there's nothing to be missed out and every part of these blessed books is extremely important. So Imam Nawawi he says Babul Ikhlasi the chapter of Ikhlas sincerity Wa and the chapter of Ihba making one's intention present bringing about one's intention and making it present. Making it present when? Fi jami'i al-a'mal in all deeds wal aqwal and in all sayings al barizati wal khafiya whether those uh, actions and whether those sayings are out in the public or khafiya or they are hidden away. Whether they are out in the public or they are in private. Everything means what? Everything means two things. Babu ikhlas. The first thing it means is sincerity. And then what ihbar and bringing about and making one's intention present. Is that clear? Now ikhlas is something extremely important. Without this, no deeds are accepted. Without ikhlas, no deeds are accepted. As Imam ibn Atayyah al Iskandari. David bin Ahmad radiallahu anhu he said he said that our outer deeds our outer deeds are like the body outer deeds are like a body and the soul of those bodies is what? ikhlas right? if you have